just I was kind of drawn to him um, for whatever reason. His personality um, just kind of fit with mine. And the more we talked, um, the more we kind of have similar values. Uh, especially we we've kind of connected on a faith level more than anything. Um, and so so it's just kind of gone from there. Um, so we we start talking about family and. Um, and inevitably, our every time our conversations would go to faith, and uh, and that's where I I'm personally I'm I'm just so passionate about that and about and I'm drawn to to quality people and and he is so devout in his faith and and is just his, his love for God and his love for Jesus his love for Christ and and he's so open with that and that that. What I know now, looking back, is that is what drew me to him. You know, before the fight, I, in the locker room warming up, I had never felt so good. And so, I mean, I had I, I had all the confidence in the world going into this fight. I knew it was going to be a tough fight. I knew the I knew the guy was, you know, Paul Sass is world class submission artist. I mean, I knew I knew all that. I, and at, at, in the in, in the locker room, I kept picturing, okay, this is about to go down, and I'm I'm about I'm about to do this. You know, all this training, all this everything I've done to prepare is about to go down here in the next couple minutes or whatever. And Knowing that there's hundreds of people out there in that arena, there watching me fight, supporting me or whatever, it not necessarily made me a little bit nervous or anything, but it, it actually gave me a little bit of like, this is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, to to where I came from, to where I'm at at that moment, it all it all hit me right then and there. But at the same time, I'm still thinking, I knew that he was gonna go for leg locks. I knew he was gonna go for triangles. So I'm, I'm trying to picture all this in my head, all in, in like, in, the, in a couple minutes before the fight, you know? And I tried to just stay calm and just be like, you know what? I've done everything I could to prepare and let's go, you know? And, and we went out there and gave it the best I could, you know?
the battle will be over. For that day when we shall lay down our bed and study war, no more. Finally, brethren, after a while, the battle will be over. For that day when we shall lay down our bed and study war. I mean, honestly, at that moment, there were so many things going through my head, and it's like, I think the one thing that that, that stuck out to me, and, and like, it was just, it was hard for me because of all the work I put into this fight, you know, like, I'd, I'd never been in this kind of shape. I've never invested so much for one fight, and and it took a little while for me to not necessarily accept it, but like just be like, I'm okay with it. Because I did everything I possibly could to prepare for that fight. Actually, I just seen the fight for the first time that day you posted it. And honestly, I was kind of almost scared to see it. Because in my head, I saw the fight the way it went in my head. I hadn't actually visually seen a video of it. I seen it for the first time on I think Monday or Tuesday, and I was just like, I, I think about it, and it's like, like you said, you know, a lot of guys, you go back to the drawing board. And if you know a little bit of MMA or if you've seen fights, those two minutes, there was more technique involved in that two minutes of, of, of fighting than I think I've had in any of my fights that have gone the distance. You know, me and Cammy are so very excited for, for this baby that's on the way, and I think I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't help hold it in any longer. I mean, I'm so excited that I figured that was the perfect time. Win or lose, I knew I was going to announce it to everybody that we have a baby on the way. And I think, I think, uh, I, I can't explain to you how my life is just. I'm so blessed with so many things going on in my life right now, and it's that right there. Like I think it, it, it just, it just topped the charge for my life. I mean, it's, it's the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. I think the one thing I learned from this fight that I'll, that I'll never forget, it, it, it's that no matter how bad you want something, even if, even if you can possibly lose everything in life and you're willing to put it all on the line, even if, if failure is an option, or not an option, but if failure, it, it can happen, but you're willing to risk everything, I truly believe that even if you fail, it's still worth every minute of it. And I think that's what I learned from this, is like, I put so much time and effort and everything into this fight camp, I still lost. But at the end, I, I won. I mean, I, I, I put myself through something that, I, I would have never pictured myself being able to do this the way I did it, with a full-time job and, and, and train as much as I did and get in the shape that I did. And and I still lost but in the end it's like I think about that and it's like it made me a better person just knowing that that I could do that I you know I lost the fight but in the end I, I I'm still I won I mean I won at life you know a baby on the way I mean what more can I ask for you know it's like and not even that but it's just it made me a better person and helping people if they see you know, yeah, I, I lost the fight, but it made me a better person. Being able to train for that fight, I lost, but I, I, I still won, you know, in the end. And, and I think that's something that I, I will learn from this fight, and, and I will always keep in my heart that I'm willing to put it all out there and take the risk. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And as long as you did everything you possibly could, it doesn't matter, you know, as long as you gave it your all, I think that's what matters, and I think I'm okay with that.